two cracks in Eugene a couple of weeks back, 19 days ago, at the World Championships, El Macale, Morocco, who is the Olympic champion, took gold. And uh, Oregon, Gurma of Ethiopia, took a silver medal. Only Kelly says let's keep roots of got Kenya onto the uh, rostrum with his uh, bronze medal. But uh, the last eight Commonwealth Games have been won by Kenya. I mentioned Graham Fell, he was a London lad.
Well, he's pushing on Kimi Watt and actually getting a bit of a gap on Kip Ruto. Kip Ruto consensus, Kip Ruto is not the same runner he was two or three years ago. He's been uh, having trouble this last couple of years, injury problems in particular, as well as the problems away from the track. And while it's been great to see him back this year, Consensus Kip Ruto, he is the Rio Olympic champion, the defending Commonwealth champion, he's twice world champion. And this wonderful return for Moon to him is good to, good, so good to see. But he's run 8-8 this year, and Kibi one here is pushing on and maybe taking it into territory that Sir Kip Ruto just cannot live with. And that gap, in fact, that gap is growing wrong very significantly. One and a half seconds there, and that water jump for the penultimate time. Kimi Watt does have the advantage, and look at that. Consensus Kip Ruto has been dropped. Sarf Lane has moved up into the silver medal position. This will be generating incredible excitement back in India. He's having the race of his life. The barrel ended at about 7.07. Kimi Watt continues to lead. Sarf Lane second place. The irony of this is that Sarf Lane of India in the blue, who surely now is heading for a medal from the age of six, Almost Kenyan style, because we're so familiar with this story for the Kenyans. Would run or walk to school the six kilometers distance between home and school, so there was no transport. And that is what so many of the Kenyans do. And Sharp right now calls up alongside Kimmy Watt. It's unthinkable, surely, that a Kenyan can be defeated. They're not going to have a one, two, three, barring disaster in this next 150 meters. The water jump for the final time. This is critical. And then a skip there from Kimmy Watt. Second place, a meter down. Has he got the speed? Kimmy Watt grimacing, looks over his shoulder. Sarblade, this final barrier is critical. Sarblade takes it well. Kimmy Watt a little better. I don't know if the Indian's going to get there, or is he? As they come to the line, it's going to be tight. Sarblade's so close. He runs a new pass to Ben Shorty, the winning time, 8-11. A superb silver for the Indian, but gold again for Kimmy Watt of Kenya. Abraham Kibiwat, second in the last Commonwealth Games, goes the one place better that was available to him. Coming through for fifth place is Gay of Canada. What a good run from him. In fact, fourth, I think, for Gay there, as Consensus Kip Ruto hits the blocker, blockers over the final lap and uh, almost walks across the line. Brilliant running from Abraham Kibiwat, but surely the story of that race is the fabulous effort from Abhinash Bukhut Sable of India, a personal best, a national record, of course, 8-11-20. The landscape of steeple chasing is changing. Well, by almost the things for best, Kenya take gold, they retain gold in this...